Alright, so you have your Ubuntu-based distribution set up just the way you like it and uh, you feel the need to back it up so that you have a live CD or USB of your system that you can take with you anywhere you go or maybe even distribute it with your friends. Well, one of my subscribers asked that I take the time to show you guys how to use Remaster Sys. Now, Remaster Sys is outdated and has been replaced by a program called ReLinux, but it is a little bit more difficult to use. Remaster Sys, though, is a magnificent program that will help you achieve this goal, and it's relatively easy to use, as you will see today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Now, before I begin, I wanted to point out that if you want a pictorial tutorial, I found one on the internet, and you can go to psychocats.net slash ubuntu slash remaster sys to get an even more detailed uh, version of this tutorial where it will take you step by step through the process of running Remaster Sys and backing up your computer. Now, in this demonstration, I am only going to be able to go through the steps necessary to create your Remaster Sys backup. The reason being is because you cannot run Remaster Sys in a virtual machine. It will generate errors and it really will not work and it's not practical for me to create another partition on my hard drive just for this demonstration. However, I will show you everything you need to know to get Remaster Sys working. Now, the first thing you must do is to make sure you have Remaster Sys installed. You can accomplish this in one of two ways. You can open up the Synaptic Package Manager or you can use the terminal. Since I recently start switched over to Arch Linux, I do everything from the terminal now. So let's go ahead and open up our terminal. It's really not hard to do. Now, I'm just going to type in a simple command. sudo meaning we want super user privileges and then we're going to tell apt to get something apt hyphen get after it gets it we want it to install and then we're going to type in remaster sys and then press enter it will prompt you for your password Now, it's going online and it's pooling to see if it's installed. All right, well, it already is installed. Now, uh, this actually came with Zorin OS and I'm running Zorin OS 5 Ultimate that I obtained uh, mid last year when this was released. And um, for a small little donation, yeah, I get the whole ball of wax with this one, let me tell you. So if you haven't tried Zorin and you're new to Linux, definitely give this a shot. At any rate, here it is. We've got it installed. So let's go ahead and minimize our terminal for the time being because we're going to need it again later. Okay, so now you have everything set up the way you want and you want to share this puppy with your friends. Okay, we have to move some files before running the backup. So let's go ahead and reopen our terminal. We are going to issue a simple command, and that is gksudo and nautilus. 
GK sudo means that we want to run an application graphically. It did not ask us for our password this time because your password is stored for a period of time when you're typing commands into the terminal. So you're granted super user privileges for a limited time. So it didn't ask for it at this point. Okay, let's go ahead and minimize our terminal now. And next, we need to navigate our file system to our home directory. Okay, and then we're going to need to press Control H to show everything here. And then we're going to go into the dot config folder. You'll need to highlight, right click, and copy everything that you have in this folder. And now we're going to navigate into the file system. We're going to go into the Etsy folder. And then we're going to go into SKEL, S-K-E-L. Let me pull that up for you here. And now we are going to right click in this folder and paste. Good. Now we have all of our settings stored here and these will be the default settings on your newly remastered system. Okay, something I would like to point out. If you're transferring your browser settings and plugins and all that other stuff, please make sure that you clear your browser's history, your cache, and all that other stuff. Especially if you've been looking at nasty stuff online, you naughty, naughty, naughty. You know, because you don't want people looking at that stuff, do you? But if you do want them to see it, okay, it's up to you. The beauty is choice. All right, now that we've got all this transferred over, let's start Remaster Sys. I'm gonna go ahead and close this window here and let's go ahead and open up our trusty handy dandy terminal. Now it looks like it's still running the GK, uh, uh, the uh, Nautilus session. So I'm just gonna press Control C here and we'll stop it because we don't need that terminal open anymore anyway. All right, and let's just run Remaster Sys. R-E-M-A-S-T-E-R-S-Y-S. <laughs> okay, I didn't give it an argument. Well, we have a graphical uh, way of putting this in here, so let's minimize this and uh, just type it in here because it does put it on your menu too there it is okay that's what I wanted and of course it wants your password okay now we have a nice little graphical utility that's going to walk us through the process okay so let's just go ahead and press OK and here are the choices you are presented with you can uh, do a backup, make a complete system backup, including user data. Again, making sure that you put everything in uh, Etsy scale uh, as your default settings. You can make a distribute you can make a distributable copy to share with your friends. You can make a distribute just how come I can't say that word today? I think I grown stupid. I need another cup of coffee. That's what it is, yeah. Okay, you can make a distributable copy CD file system only. That's good if you want to add files later on. You can make the distributable ISO file. You can modify the remaster sys configuration file to customize options, remove temporary files, gives you some information about it. Okay, well why don't we just say we want to share a copy of this with our friends so we'll just select the distribution option here and press OK All right, and then it will start the live CD creation process now a new terminal is going to open and it is going to go through this process please be patient this takes a long time for it to complete once the process has finished, 
your custom ISO and custom ISO MD5 files are ready in the home remaster sys slash remaster sys folder. It is recommended to test it in a virtual machine or a rewritable CD DVD to ensure it works as desired. Click on OK to return to the main menu. Okay, so I can actually go ahead and close this. Now, as I indicated, I'm running this in a virtual machine, so it did not work, obviously. But the thing is, if you're running it on an actual computer, it actually does work. And uh, we'll just navigate to that folder real quick. And that is in the file system, home, in the remaster sys folder. And it would be in here. So it would be um, whatever the name of your operating system is, dot ISO, and then it would have a whatever your operating system name is, dot MD5, that you can compare it against. If you thought this tutorial was useful, please comment and subscribe. Also, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I release a new video here on Spatry's Cup of Linux. I'd like to welcome all of my new subscribers. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to shoot me a line. I'll try my best to answer your questions the best that I can. Thank you all for watching. You guys are the best, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.